Today we're going to be talking about main drain clogs. So very typical things that lead to mainline backups are uh, grease. Grease is a, a, a big one. It'll cool in the, in the drain lines and it will stick to the walls. Uh, over time that buildup will build on each other and it will decrease the diameter of the inside of the pipe, making it a lot harder and restricting the flow for other materials to go through. Paper towels are always a no, as well as any feminine products should not be flushed down the drain. Super thick, soft toilet paper, uh, while it feels good, is not great for your plumbing system. It's not good for your main drains. It does not dissolve very well in water. Over time, pipes deteriorate, especially in our climate where it's susceptible to hot and cold. Um, things expand and contrast just like typically the ground does. If you have cast iron piping, uh, clay piping, they're susceptible to getting tree roots inside. Mother Nature is the strongest force we know. And those tree roots will bust right through your pipe, leaving other places where toilet paper, paper towels, foreign objects can get snagged in your pipelines. Age definitely plays a, plays a part in the breakdown of pipes. Um, <laughs> people say that things get better with aged pipes don't. So uh, the more that we use them, the more water that they're susceptible to, the more of the elements that happen on those pipes they they just they break the ground shifts uh hubs come apart those are just natural things that occur over time in pipes uh signs that indicate they have a mainline backup is water coming up through a floor drain um which is, is very typical in a basement you would find that uh somewhere if you have a finished basement i would look to a utility room or uh maybe a closet downstairs so there can be uh, an odor that you would notice uh, from obviously raw sewage sitting on your floor, but typically a lot of homeowners don't go into their basement very often where they would see the main backup. Not everybody is in tune with where their floor drain is or not in tune with whether they've had a backup or not until somebody goes and discovers it. You won't ever know that your clogs are already forming in the main line, especially with partial clogs. There's a difference between the amount of flow that somebody has and how big their blockage is. A no flow, something where there's zero water penetrating the clog. A partial flow is one where the drain line is only partially open. You definitely want to catch it before it becomes a bigger problem because it's going to save you money in the long run. Um, that at the end of the day, as well as heartache. Mainline clogs can lead to extensive damage, uh, such as raw sewage flooding a basement, um, even gray water flooding a basement, and ruining valuables that may be stored down there. What a plumber will do if you do have a mainline backup is they will bring down a, an auger, a drain auger. Um, the machine is very dangerous. I shy away from any homeowner using that machine. Uh, we're trained professionals and we're able to use it and use it properly. Uh, but they will find uh, either a, a clean out and get to your main line. The whole goal is to get to your main drain line without destroying a branch line. We're able to run that sewer machine out uh, as far as we can get with the appropriate uh, head attachment on the drain machine in order to alleviate uh, the clock. Um, so a drain opening can, uh, includes one pass down and back. That is simply to get the homeowner by, to open up a passageway for water to flow. Uh, a drain cleaning, however, includes uh, different heads on the machine as well as three to four passes down and back in order to pull back as much uh, material as we can possibly get and to uh, fully clean the inside of the drain. More often than not, drain clogs are a symptom of a bigger problem. Having a drain opening and a drain cleaning is step number one to, to finding that out, but the end all be all really is a camera inspection. With the pictures that the camera takes, it's able to tell the integrity of the pipe. So whether there's a belly in the pipe, any cracks, any separation in the pipe, that will give you the, the answers of, okay, this is exactly what's going on inside your pipes, this is why that clogged, where it clogged, and how we can remedy this.